Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. Today I'm going to be cooking an omelette using leftover potatoes and cabbage. So let's begin. Well, here we have leftover boiled potatoes and cabbage that we had a couple of days ago. So we're going to mash it up. Not too much, not too less. You don't even have to mash it up if you don't want to. But just let's just mash it up a bit. That should do. That's enough. Okay, let's put that away. By the way, I'm gonna be eating these today with some chicken wings. Okay, next we have the we have four eggs. So we're going to crack them open onto this bowl, plate. Okay, um, we'll just add a pinch of salt. and we'll beat them up. By the way, this recipe, you can also use it, you can also make it with um, like uh, broccoli or uh, cauliflower also. I think in England, it's called bubble and squeak, isn't it? Let me know in the comments. Right, so that's done. Let's put that to one side. Let's clean this up a bit. And I've got a bit of leftover chorizo also from the other day. So I'm going to cut this into a few slices. This will be my aperitif while I cook. And we'll pour ourselves a nice glass of red wine and wish you all a good day. Cheers. Salud. Okay, so the next step will be to add the eggs onto the potato and cabbage. I'm also going to add a bit of black pepper and also just going to sprinkle a bit of sweet paprika. And we'll mix it all in. Give it a good mix in. Okay, so this is ready for the next step. So, the next step will be to turn this stove on. I'm going to turn it up to number seven and I'm going to add just a little bit of olive oil about half a tablespoon and we'll wait for that to heat up okay so once the olive oil is hot can swirl it about so the base gets all fully covered shouldn't stick anyway. We'll add the egg, cabbage and potato and hopefully it'll fit here. And we'll leave it there 
for about five minutes, I think. Okay. So basically, it's the same procedure as making a Spanish omelette, which you may have seen me do several times before. I'll leave a link below in the description for my other omelette recipes for you to enjoy. I like to do this on the sides because they slightly stick to the top, just a little bit. But it's not sticking. That's what I hope anyway. Slightly sticking there at the bottom there, but we'll sort that out later. And it's just smoking there because I've dropped a bit of, a little bit of egg on the stove. Okay, let's see this. Well, it's not sticking, I think. So, the next step will be the best part, which is to flip it over. This should be fun. Okay. Way. Awesome. I thought that was going to go everywhere to be honest. So we'll leave it on that side to toast as well. And obviously it all depends on how you want it inside. If you want it to be slightly runny it's probably done right now because it's nice and soft looks like it's sticking again isn't it let's do this a bit and oh my god look at that I really messed that one up didn't I really messed up Right, let's fix this. Oh no. Let's put this on there and that on there. Hey, these things happen. So I'm going to clean this pan a little bit. Okay, so I've cleaned that up a bit, and I'm just going to add a drop of olive oil. Hey, these things happen, you know. Remember my channel, mistakes included. Can't just show you the good stuff, can I? I think everyone makes, makes mistakes. So let's try and put that back in there. That's it and I'll flip it over again. And just put it back in there. And hopefully this time, it'll be okay. <laughs> right, let's leave it here for a couple of minutes and see what happens. So let's finish this off. Look at that. Sorted itself out, didn't it? I want the bottom to be a bit more done, so I'll give it a couple of minutes there so that it'll toast at the bottom, and then we'll finish it off. Okay, this should be done, so let's give it a couple of final flips. We And the last one. And there you go. Cheap dinner today. Cheap lunch. A nice omelette with leftover potato and cabbage. Well, let's cut this up and see what it's like inside.
and here it is a delicious omelette well I hope that you enjoyed today's recipe video if you did please give me a like um, ask me any questions leave me comments I'll always answer and thank you for watching and goodbye